Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, universe, watch out. Ransack the Universe is a 6.8% IPA from Collective Arts Brewing in Hamilton, Ontario. I've been talking about trying beers from outside the state, and today, Ransack the Universe fits that bill. It's from out of the country. I was over in Windsor a few weeks back and picked this one up at a local metro store. And Ransack the Universe is Collective Arts' flagship IPA, so I, I kind of just picked this one blindly off the shelves, so I was excited to see it was their flagship, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it turns out. So let's take a look at the label. Get this into a glass. Fun fact, Collective Arts features limited edition artwork on their labels, and each beer I saw on the shelves there had as many as three different labels for each beer. A little confusing to be, you know, to be sure, but still pretty cool. And this one, I picked this one up. I saw that three different cans looked, you know, they had different uh, different artwork on them, but they were the same beer. And this one I thought was kind of the coolest. So this one has a Japanese looking dragon on it. His eyes are really big. His nose is flared up. His mouth is open with his teeth and his tongue sticking out. And it's just got this real cool red and uh, orange kind of coloration going on. It's just a really cool label. When I saw this, I was like, that looks really cool. We got to pick this one up. So it says the artist, which is uh, John McTavish from Toronto, Ontario, and you can actually text him. I'm not going to give his number out on here, but you could text him and say, hey, cool, nice label, I guess. Uh, this one says return for label wherever applicable and Collective Arts Brewing Hamilton, Ontario, collectivearts.brewing.com, and you can find them on social media at Collective Brew. And this one, the list of hops, also has the French name for it, which I'm not even going to try and butcher, uh, Hublon. And it's, I guess I did butcher it. It says Galaxy and Mosaic, always great uh, hops for IPAs, unfiltered, Collective Arts Beer Brewing, uh, Collective Arts Brewing, and Ransack the Universe. And it tells you it is an IPA. So I'm going to grab my IPA glass here. And we're going to go ahead and slide this over. Is there a date? There is uh, something on the bottom of this can, but it looks like it's just a splatter of a marker. So we're going to go ahead and crack this one open. I've been sitting on this one for a few weeks. I wasn't just didn't know when to when to open this one, but the time seemed right. So I'm getting some kind of nice smell of um, like tropical fruit, some kind of citrus fruitiness in there too. Got a bit of the dankness, like I said, it's Galaxy and Mosaic. Galaxy is like a big, you know, it's a a nice dank kind of aroma on a hop. So let's go ahead and pour this. Really light uh, yellow coming out of the can. I was expecting it to even look a little thicker, a little bit juicier. For some reason, just straight out of the can. We're going to let that one kind of top up. And I'm going to let this just do its thing. I'm going to probably fill it up again before I take a drink. But that is a really nice white head. Just super compact bubbles. It looks like foam almost on the top. Uh, the bubbles on the side are really nice and large, but it's they're so densely compact together that, you know, it's just kind of hanging in there. I'm going to hold it up to the light and maybe fill a little bit more. Holding this up, it is a little bit, um, it's not totally transparent. It does have a bit of a haziness to it. I can see my fingers. I can see shadows. I can almost see detail like fingernails through it, but I, I can't quite make that out. And there's a lot of nice carbonation streaming up from the bottom. Uh, just a beautiful looking beer, really nice, bright, golden yellow and I'm going to pour a little bit more in there. I'm just going to go ahead and, and get a nose and then just drink it. I'm not going to keep messing around with filling it and talking and filling it. Yeah, getting a nice kind of this honestly reminds me. I think a lot of these beers remind me when I get this kind of aroma. Reminds me of one of the first beers that I had that had the same kind of aroma and the I'm really equating it to, it's got a nice citrus, it's got a nice stone fruit, maybe a little bit of a mango in there. It's reminding me of Dirty Dank Juice from Odd Side Ales. That was the first beer that I had that was really juicy like that, that had an aroma like this. Uh, but that's really what it's reminding me of. Has a bit of a sweetness, like an orangey, citrusy sweetness to it. All right, that's it. I'm not going to fill it anymore. I, I know I said I wasn't going to, but I'm really, really not going to. So I'm going to go ahead and take a drink. Cheers. Wow, that is really good. 6.8%. Uh, I am picking up on a little bit of an alcohol kind of taste to it, but this is really soft. Really crisp. 
really nice light mouthfeel. It's got the flavors are this citrus, and then it's got the zestiness, like a pith of the the of orange skin, like orange peel. On top of that, it almost has this kind of melon flavor on the finish, on the swallow. There's bitterness in there. It's more on the aftertaste. I'm more kind of picking up the citrus kind of bitterness right now. Maybe a little bit of an earthy bitterness as well. I'm also getting this kind of on the after, a lot of this flavor, a lot of the sweetness on the upfront, on the on the orange, on the tropical fruit, uh, are, are mostly on the upfront when it just, when you pull it into your mouth, but when you swallow, that's when you get the bitterness. You're getting like a bit of a maltiness. You're getting a bit of um, citrus bitterness and earthy bitterness as well. That first real taste is where I picked up. I wanted to look at the ABV because that's where I felt like I was picking up some of that ABV flavor or, the, you know, the flavor was being in, influenced in some way by that ABV. But this is, wow, this is, I got to make another trip to Windsor to pick more of this up. This is, um, this is really good. I don't, it's not like blowing my mind good, but it's very, very good. It's like almost there. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what else Collective Arts does or what, what other kind of beers they do. Like I said, there were so many different cans on the shelf that it was just really hard to differentiate one beer from the, from the next. But yeah, this has really got a nice orangey flavor and all those other kind of, um, kind of hoppy bitterness flavors in there as well. I'm really looking forward to trying more from Collective Arts. Just if this is, again, this is totally deserves to be their flagship because it is very, very good. All right, friends, that has been Ransack the Universe from Collective Arts Brewing in Hamilton, Ontario. Have you had this one? Have you had any other beers from Canada that I should be on the lookout for when I'm crossing over the border to pick up some more of these? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that notification bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free and it's all for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. Also, I want to start incorporating your questions into these episodes so you can leave any questions, either voicemail or text. Anything you have for me at the Draft Therapy Hotline at 224-DRAFT-20. You'll see the scroll under the screen at some point. You can also join the conversation about craft beer at the Discord link below this video. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are. And most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.